and welcome to the show. We are back on Forza Horizon 4 with another team adventure. This time all about Fords. We have got a selection of B-Class Fords going to go racing. Apparently we have got the Escort team. Uh, all of the Escort cars. I've managed to put all of the Escort cars was accidentally on the same team. Uh, two Mustangs and an Anglia make up the rest of our team against Fiesta, F100, Capri, uh, 73 Escort, and some other stuff on the other team. These team adventures are split over, well, they run over five races, some tarmac, some dirt. Uh, this particular race is a mixture of both tarmac and dirt. Predor I say predominantly dirt. There's a nasty little dirt section. Uh, I've gone for the Escort Cosworth primarily because I've not really driven it all that much in this game. Fancy something a little bit different. I like the car. Also gives me, as that gives me an excuse to use this livery. I apologize, patrons. I built this car in about three minutes before starting this. Been running quite late today. So <laughs> don't know whether it is going to be any good whatsoever. Our Anglia is running off after those guys. If you could go do that, please. I am not very fast down the straights. I, I knew this was likely to be a problem for the Escorts. Uh, it starts off as a high-ish C-Class car, and while I have got rally tyres on it, and a little bit of weight reduction, a little bit of engine work, it's not much. It's, I say it's not much. It's likely to be fairly decent handling, but we need a lot of corners if we are going to be able to make up the sort of time that we need here. So far, it doesn't look great for Red Team, especially our Mustang ends up in the wall. Blue team have got a 1-2 and this will not do. Looks like uh, blue team's Anglia is pretty bloody fast accelerating as well, which is going to make life difficult for me to do much about it. Although, there we go, we've got some speed on the outside there. Uh, <laughs> need to break up blue's 1-2 up at the front here. That that cannot stand. Oh, and Mustang has ballsed up the <laughs> corner. Well, now it's a 1, 2, 3. Now things are considerably worse. Go! Go, little angly... I'm going to get some slipstream. going to get a toe, actually. Never mind slipstream. I just, it's not very often you say that to an anglia either. Let's be honest here. It's not very often you want to tow from an anglia, but uh, this is... Uh, such is the case. Such is my escort's lack of straight-line speed. Oh, bugger. The Capri's coming. I've never been... Never had much luck with building Capri's. I've tried to build good ones in the past. And it never worked. I've never been able to get one that was any sort of speed, really. They've never worked to whatever class I built them to. So, hence why I'm definitely not running one today. Although, the one behind seems to be doing fairly well. I'm hoping our other... Uh, the, <laughs> the Escort Cosworth Brigade having a pretty rough time here. The Escort Cosworth Brigade is, uh, yeah, not exactly setting the course alight with blistering speed here, sadly. Now, my hope is, of course, we will be going to different tracks. We will be going to... But this is a fairly... As far as... As far as... Horizon 4 circuits go, this is a fairly open, a fairly fast track. Uh, trying to squeeze around the outside of the Mustang. Didn't really... The Mustang's not helping me in this particularly, because, again, I've got myself in a situation where I've got the much better handling car stuck behind a car that uh, massively out-accelerates me everywhere. Mustang's not having a fun time around here. It'll work on a more open circuit. That will be held on the more technical circuits that we might come across at some point in all of this. Uh, I was going to defend, but there's nothing to defend from. The Classic Escort is uh, much further back. Yeah, I'm not going to be... <laughs> I don't think Red Team are going to be winning this first round. Here comes that Classic Escort. For a second I thought it was making a very funny noise, much being the initial, just the angle that it was at. Uh, the, yeah, the Escort has gone flying past. Now I'm hoping I might be a little faster on the dirt than it, but that is a big hope. Mustang's not stopping. For turn one, we will fall back behind this classic car and then try and chase it. Yeah, so through the dirt I've got a little bit more grip. Bows well for a cross-country circuit, uh, but... Oh, that's <laughs> a... That's a big, a big accidental nudge down the hill. We should probably be able to have a big dive at the inside here. Uh, if we can pull it up in time, which we can't. The Escort will cut back underneath us. I might try and go to the underside of it there. Not quite going to work, unfortunately for me. Yeah, we got nowhere near the pace of the cars up ahead. We've got nowhere near the pace of, of them. We are around the outside. That's the manoeuvre I was trying to do on the uh, Mustang that didn't quite come off. Again, it's costing me so much time, this sort of fighting. Uh, can we... 
That's... <laughs> the escort was kind. The escort was kind. Gave gave us space through all of that. Yeah, the rest of our cars are in trouble, though. We have not got... Our Anglia might be able to get a couple of places at best. Uh, however, I am way too far down. I don't know if I had the speed really to live with them anyway, even if we hadn't lost all of the time early on. That escort's going to outdrag us again up the hill. No! <laughs> no! I, I'm also very keen to move back into Switchy. Maybe a little too keen. That's my bad on that one. Uh, bugger. Yeah, my, my car will be good for a very specific sort of uh, a race. And this is certainly not it. This is certainly, certainly not going to be, to be the one. But we will fight for honour. We will fight for that all-important fifth place. Uh, can I get underneath again? I can probably squeeze around the outside here. That's a missed checkpoint, I would think, for the Escort. Might have got lucky and got that one. Uh, nope, didn't. <laughs> Yeah, see that one coming. I mean, that's that's lost blue team some points. It's not enough. It's gaining us a little bit of ground, but it isn't going to be anywhere near enough to even contemplate. Oh, I'm now throwing my car at the course because I'm overdriving. I don't really know why because it's not like I'm going to catch anybody. It's, uh <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, my car doesn't work. This is one of the difficulties with building cars for, for this sort of event. One of the tough things with building cars for this sort of style event is you try and build an all-round car naturally you kind of need to build an all-round car uh, the problem is if you don't get it quite right you end up with a car that's slow everywhere at least if you build a specialist car uh, you end up with something that is slow on a couple of events but should be very fast elsewhere and i fear i fear that my escort cosworth here is too middle of the road it's too sensible and that means we're going to be stuck scoring. I mean, fifth, okay, at the end of the day, fifth place isn't too bad, but it's not exactly, you know, big points for us. Not exactly big points. We would be okay if there was more red cars further up. There's not. And I think our Anglia might have missed a checkpoint, judging by the fact I can now see it again. So, <laughs> there we go. That's, yeah, it's not a good start. It's not a good start for red team. Here, oh, please slow down. I might have gone down one too many gears there, but we got it stopped in the end, and that's the important thing, you know. Oh well, we had a fun, we had a fun little exchange with an escort until they missed a checkpoint. Outside of that, has been a little bit of a lonely race for us. Too much fighting early on, and then nowhere near enough speed. Once we did have that uh, little bit of clean air, uh, there we go. Yeah, fourth and fifth, best, best that red team could manage. Not a great start, but. It's not over yet. There is still more potential, possibly, hopefully, for our cars to come good. Unlikely, I feel, but, you know, maybe. So, our next race, we head to the Greenadale Club Circuit. A track that in places I think... I think my car will like. In other places, I think my car might not be a massive fan of. That long back straight, for example. That will not be fun. Elsewhere... I should be able to carry some speed, but yeah, don't don't really know, don't really know. So <laughs> going to do our best. I think my goal try and be the highest positioned of the Escort Cosworth. Unfortunately, that is only racing against uh, well my own team. There go the Anglias. They're off with all their speed. There goes the Mustang with all of their speed. Not much speed left for me really. There's not much speed available for the poor Escort Cosworth. Uh, Red, we definitely need more than 600 points, just putting that out there. Uh, now, through these long corners, this is where we may well come good on some of the other vehicles. These longer corners, these more technical turns, I suspect uh, some of the Anglias won't have much fun. I don't know what the F100 is running into. I mean, but I would presume everyone here, let's face it, is running rally tyres. You'd be mad not to... Uh, unless you're going for a real specialist car uh, in knowing that you'll throw the rally events to focus on the tarmac events because rally tires are actually pretty good on tarmac uh, full stop only beaten really by the by the full race tires oh don't have as grip as much grip through there i was really hoping i could run that flat i kind of needed to be able to really if we're going to stand a chance because well blue team have got again this one two uh, five and six and i need to get up into that our other escort cosworth is doing better if we get momentum, we're not too bad. If 
we've got momentum going into this straight. We're actually not as terrible as I thought we were. The Anglia's just got acceleration. Perhaps that's what it is. Our top speed isn't awful as such, but our acceleration to it is lacking because well, we're quite heavy. Oh, I say quite heavy. In relative terms, when you're comparing yourself to a little Ford Anglia, fairly heavy. Not good, though, for us for points. It does... I say it does. It, it does help uh, Blue Team slightly where when you have... Well, it can help. When you have someone disconnect, uh, the point system gets a little skewed. Uh, in favour, actually, of the team that has the disconnection because we're always limited by the amount of points that we can get because there's one less blue team car to be overtaking. Uh, can we go around the outside of the F100? Not quite. Uh, we might be able to duck underneath here, which we do. We'll get that position. Okay, so the Fiesta is immensely fast. Fiesta's long gone. Uh, we're not it's, like, it's not even... There's no, there's no point. We're not going to be competing with that... Uh, with that Fiesta, I don't think. Our best bet is going to be maybe we can get second away from the Escort. Second's not that far up the road. So if the Anglia, the Anglia can slow down the Escort and then bring that back towards me and the other Cosworth, that would be good. That would actually be quite needed. And if the, you know, red team cars further back if they can start making up some positions that would also be fantastic news oh it's an off for the escort that's exactly what we needed the opportunity has arose and we're through <laughs> i nearly balls up the corner however the opportunity presented itself and we have pounced all it takes is a little mistake and that's you know giving us a pretty big swing in the points table you know, with the second third and fourth if we can hold this that's good news that's good news for Red Team. And my car, out. if we ignore the Fiesta, because it's immense, we ignore the Fiesta, uh, <laughs> my car, much happier. I'm kind of surprised, actually. Kind of surprised. I guess it's just all the technical corners. That's what does it. That's what brings my Escort back into contention a little bit more. All those technical corners. Oh, there's not even technical there. It's just kind of medium and slightly higher speed corners that the car's without the grip. They can't sort of use point and squirt acceleration around some of these corners. Uh, the Ninetales is uh, F100s having a horrendous time all the way down in 8th place, for example. So, this track is working wonders, strangely, for my car. Now it's for honour, really, up here. between Now, of course, can't afford to take each other out. That is a very important thing to avoid, as much... It brings in a slightly different tactical element to these races. As much as I want to be the highest placed Escort Cosworth in the race, uh, I'm not going to do something that risks taking us out of the positions because we need the points. Ooh, like that. For example, if I was ra if if I was if it was a normal race, or if they were a car on the opposite team, I would have dove up the inside there. I wouldn't have thought about it, but I don't want to risk going up the inside of a teammate just when they have a little wobble like that because I punt them off, they fall all the way back, we lose a huge chunk of points, and we lose the round. It's kind of important that we win the round when <laughs> we've got a good opportunity such as this one. We're not an opportunity like this presents itself, you've got to take it. Well, so you've got to take, you've got to try your very best to take it. I think I want third gear through this first corner. I mean, the escort's there with the watching brief in case we do anything stupid, uh, which I'm hoping we are all sensible enough not to. Yeah, the angle has not really escaped us this time around. It's I think it is that, it's that initial launch is great in the Anglia, but after it's got to, you know, sort of 80 miles an hour, uh, it kind of runs out of, it runs out of oomph, shall we say, and that is where the Escort Cosworths are a little bit more, uh, a little bit more useful, shall we say. Okay, we pull clear of the classic Escort, back there, points-wise, we are still looking all good. The Anglia's out wide, I'm not going to be able to catch the Cosworth, unfortunately, they had a good final lap, couldn't really do anything, but I just sort of sat in stalemate for that. Uh, <laughs> There we go. It looks like 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 6th is going to go the way of Red Team. Some very important points in all of that. The F100 climbed back up to 7th in, in that race. The Anglia could only manage 8th for Red Team. So it's really interesting, the swings and roundabouts that go on with the different car builds and how they perform at these different circuits. Capri did not have a fun time there. Red Team take a point. We tie it up at a one point apiece. Up next, we head to the rail yard for a cross-country race. This is a very small, very small track, and it might be good for the Escort. There's a lot of scenery, a lot of 
track furniture to potentially trouble. A lot of track furniture to potentially trouble. However, however, uh, I guess the technicality of this circuit might suit the Escort, although the acceleration zones might suit the likes of the Anglia. I mean, the Fiesta's just going to be quick everywhere. Uh, I don't think I'm going to stand much chance against that. One of the concerns I do have with the Escort is not having a huge amount of power and a huge amount of, well... It's the clearing of the debris that could be an issue. The F100 might be very fast here. If it's got the control for the narrower sections, uh, which we will have to wait and see. It's interesting to see that F100 really struggle on the tarmac stage. I was kind of expecting that to be quite quick. I think there might have been a kerfuffle behind us that uh, caused some grief for cars. Now, you can potentially take the jump. You don't really want to, though. The jump's going to be... You're going to be in the air. And, well, being in the air is not conducive to a fast lap time because your wheels aren't on the ground accelerating you forward. So it's probably not advised going for that. I'm just going to follow the F100 into here. Okay, we've got some speed, actually. We've got some speed on the on the pickup. Can I have a look to the inside there? No, not going to work. Can I harass... Yeah, once we've got going, we're all right in this. Maybe this isn't such as, as much of a lemon as I thought it was. That's okay. <laughs> It's a lemon in some races. At first race, it really was not quick yet. But in some of these other races, it's not too bad. As I feared, uh, Blue Team's Anglia is fast here. I did suspect that was going to be the case for that car because it doesn't run out of sort of go because none of the straights are long enough and its handling is probably questionable, but it doesn't really matter when it's got enough acceleration to make it work around here. I really need to clear the pickup truck and I need to clear the pickup truck pretty sharpish if we're going to get this to work. Um, I, I could go the alternate route through here, but I fear I just open the door to the Anglia. That's where, we're gonna, that's where we've got the grip, around the outside, on the banked corner. Oh, it didn't quite work. I shouldn't have gone down a gear. I thought I could maybe get away with a uh, sneaky little bit of uh, a get-go there. Uh, the Anglia's to the inside. We're going three wide at the moment. I might come out of all of this with the lead just... We've just done it. The problem is it's now 234 to Blue Team. Our team's cars. <laughs> My car? Liking it here. My car is liking it here. Although I don't think I'm going to hold on to the lead once that S uh, Fiesta uh, catches up to us. No, that second gear. Don't go to don't go to that. Um, yeah, my car liking it here as I thought it might do, having seen how how it behaves. There we go, we're fine for this. I can do that flat. It's this transition up here. Can't quite do it flat. I probably need to be a little bit more careful through that part, but we are through there better at least. And we've got a little bit of breather back to the Anglia. Haven't seen the Fiesta appear. Oh, now I can see the Fiesta in the background. Ooh, can I hold on for long enough? That is the question. Uh, red team, ah, we, we need to really break the 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, area that, uh, <laughs> that Blue have got. That's going to be, I think, the thing that does us in in this particular race is that we're just not close enough uh, to, we're not scoring quite enough points, sadly. Uh, I mean, oh, don't hit that building. That would be a very, very unfortunate and embarrassing way to go if that were the case. Uh, it does look like we are struggling a little bit more for point. It's a very interesting team kind of mix up of cars that we've got going on. Different cars performing well in different places. And it's quite the big difference as well that we've got, even like even within the teams, the, the order completely shaken up around these uh, races. I'm actually very surprised the Fiesta hasn't come flying past yet, unless there was a missed checkpoint involved, which, let's face it, is easy to do around here, very easy to do around this sort of circuit. It looks like there's an immense fight going over 10th and 11th at the moment, which is, you know, fair enough, important. You know, important. It's, you know, 100 points either way, and that is something that uh, your team is going to very much want and potentially need, depending on how everything goes. I actually got a very, very bad run out of there this time around. I might have given ourselves grief. I don't think the angle is going to have the later stage acceleration to be able to catch us here. So, I think my <laughs> tail goes for the jump with the F100. We will claim a victory. The Escort came good. Came good around there. Yeah, it, it was well suited to that track. Problem? Doesn't look like we're going to score enough points elsewhere. We may possibly be able to, yeah, keep blue cars 11th and 12th, but that won't be enough. It's a close round. All we needed was, you know, just a little bit more of a... We need someone to be able to fight for a fifth sort of place. We could push fifth place. The Capri down a couple of, couple of slots would have been good. Couldn't quite do it. 
It's not over yet. It's going to be tough, though. So, to what could be the deciding round of this adventure. We've come to a track where I don't think the Escort is going to like. The Holly Rod Park Circuit. Very fast. Uh, some very nasty corners. Now, the nasty corners might play in my favour. Because while it is a lot of flat out, it looks like a simple layout, this one. It's nasty. It's nasty. You do want some grip. Outright power around here is quite dangerous, often leading to a very big crash. I think the Fiesta's going to be unstoppable, let's be honest here. Uh, <laughs> I think that Fiesta is going to be very well suited and completely bugger off at the front. The question is, can, can the rest of us do it? Is that like the F100? Is that going to have a terrible time here because it won't have the grip through these fast corners? It might have the acceleration on us, but will it have the grip through these fast corners? What will the Angliers do? What will the Mustangs do? Who knows? We're going to find out fairly shortly as we head towards the first of the... Well, I guess the first kind of braking zone when we're dealing with B-class cars here. Uh, I'm trying to give a uh, Mustang a bit of a helping hand through all of this. Oh, it's busy. Oh, sorry, fellow teammate. I was trying... <laughs> we're, just, we're trying to go around the outside of cars. We're trying to go to the inside of cars. It's all very busy. Uh, that's a Sierra gone for a big spin. Well, it looks like a real drive Sierra, which is... Not necessarily what you want for this sort of stuff, but there we go. Oh, we'll give space to the green Mustang, although it's probably a, it's a sketchy place. I say sketchy place, you can't go for overtakes there, that's fine. But I know that Mustang's struggling immensely for grip, so that was always going to be an interesting one. What have we got going on at the front? At the moment, things are looking good for Red Oh, I do apologise, Mustang. I did not at all mean to put you in the ward if I did, if I did that. I'm, yeah, very sorry on that front. Anyway... I, I glanced up at the leaderboard because I thought I was clear. I thought it was supposed to accelerate quicker. I don't quite know why I was, but there we go. Um, yeah, red team currently looking pretty good. Uh, we're trying to chase down the Anglia. We saw last time out the Anglia is all about the acceleration, but not actually got the top end here as we hit 131 with the Escort Cosworth. The F100 is coming. The green Mustang we've seen is immensely fast down the straights, but is going to have difficult times going through some of these faster corners. The Fiesta's actually got a little bit of stuck at the moment behind teammate uh, and our Anglia. Come on, blue. Well, hold on. We've got... We've not done this very well. We've got the red Anglia on blue team and the blue Anglia on red team. You know, let's not worry about that too much. If I... Say if I call... I will just have our team's Anglia rather than... Call, yeah, that's going to get confusing. Oh, Fiesta tried to go around the outside. Couldn't make it work. Through the barriers. You lose a lot of time through those barriers. Those uh, kind of iron... Iron railings really will slow you down. When you're stuck hitting a lot of them, just ploughing through them once, one little bit is okay, but when you hit a lot of them, you are going to lose a heap of time. Well, I'm not quite sure how the Escort got out the, si out the other side of the fence there. That's quite impressive, so well done on that. Now we head on to the straight. Fiesta's fighting away with the Anglia. The Fiesta might actually get this done. Although, what is the, is the question, actually? The Fiesta has acceleration. Does it have top speed? doesn't. It really doesn't. Here comes the Escort Cosworth to the in... I might have given the Fiesta a nudge, but I shouldn't have done. I should probably bump my teammate. To the inside we go with, with the Escort Cosworth. The Escort Cosworth 1-2. What a peculiar turn of events we have going on with all of this. It's not at all how I expected to have happened, but yeah, it's that lightweight car, insane acceleration malarkey that uh, goes on, but when it actually comes to these longer straights... It struggles with, I would presume, a lack of power in B-Class. Again, I'd imagine all-wheel drive swapped, uh, judging by the launch and so on. Uh, you know, you're going to have rally tyres. That jumps up the PI a lot, so you just kind of run out of power. The lightweight will get you off the line, but power is what will give you that top speed. And obviously I've got enough going on in the Escort. A little bit of a wrong gear. I might be better with third through there. Our <laughs> teammate leading the way did make a slight mistake. Has got away with that. Points-wise, red, we are still looking pretty good here. Oh, I've overdone that. Bugger. Even with that, though, we're still looking fairly good here. So, the fast circuits suit my handling S. This is weird. <laughs> I've done a lot of racing. I've done a lot of team adventures and messing around in Horizon 4. This is not what I expected and how I expected things to go quite frankly, but I can't complain when we come soaring past 
that Fiesta once more. Yeah, I can't complain too much. We've actually got more more top end than the uh, green Escort Cosworth, which is, I guess, helpful. But really now we're just about defending. We can't afford to let that Fiesta past either. I say we can't afford. We don't want to. If it does get past us, it isn't actually the end of the world, judging by the uh, the points situation we are currently in. But, you know, for, for safety and mostly for racing honour, I want to keep the Fiesta behind. It's going to follow us through here. This is a corner you can't afford to... Uh, yeah, make a mistake on the Fiesta. He's going to have a crack up the inside. That's a good manoeuvre. It's a good manoeuvre to draw alongside. I think I might be able to outrun him to the finish line. Uh, <laughs> he's going to have a go at the inside. Oh, some lag. I don't know where our teammate is, and I don't really want to end up clonking into the side of them. That's it, you two. Fight each other. That is actually very good news for me now as they go side by side down towards the start finish line the fiesta's looking to the inside but here comes here co oh, i've got a very very long way to go around here this is really sketchy <laughs> oh hold on we're through run run car we're gonna do it we're gonna take a sneaky victory that was uh <laughs> timed to perfection for me I think the Fiesta got the... Oh, he didn't. He came third in the end. Second place. 1-2 for the Escort Cosworths. The Anglia will claim a fourth. We'll get a sixth place in there as well from one of the Mustangs. The F100 claimed fifth. The Classic Escort up into a seventh place. Re this has been a fantastic adventure so far. Uh, <laughs> this has been a fantastic adventure so far. It goes down to the wire. It goes down to the final round. So, we are on to our final circuit. It is the Broadway Village Circuit. And I have no bloody idea who's going to like this track or not, because everything I've expected so far of this adventure has been entirely wrong. Yeah, there is an okay length straight here. I don't think it's going to quite be enough for my escorts to reel in the acceleration mobiles. But there are some nasty technical sections, so... The Escort might be pretty good around there. It's anyone's guess, really. We could have we could have a completely different car utterly dominate this race, because so far nothing's really gone as expected. I'm just going to try and score as many points for Red Team as we can, really. We are just going to try and make up as many points as we can, and hopefully maybe get a sneaky Red Team victory. After the first race where I thought I had a terrible dud of a car, this has actually turned out to be... Uh, quite a lot better than expected in weird, weird ways. Who knew the straight line speed tracks was where we were going to excel with this? Because I sure as hell was not expecting it. I think it's. I think what it is with my escort here is we've got a good combination of stuff. And this is what I was saying a bit at the start of the first race. You know, if you've got an overall car, uh, you might struggle in some of the races. If you've got a car, you know. Jack of all trades, master of none and everything, you might get in trouble. But what we're finding here is I have got better straight line speed than the acceleration cars, the likes of the Anglias, the likes of the Fiesta. But I got the grip to mostly back that up. And if we've got the right combination of track for us, I can put that to very good use. But some circuits it won't like. For example, that first track was horrible for it. That first track was about as worse as it could get. It's got the acceleration zones and nowhere near enough technical corners. Here... I mean, we have squeezed our way past the F100. Uh, this is close. We, I mean, I think this is a good track for the Fiesta because it doesn't run out of speed here. Really, for us to excel, we need a track where the cars we are racing, uh, the scary cars we are racing, run out of straight line speed and don't have too many low speed acceleration zones. That's probably what we need for Red Team to excel here. Uh, <laughs> it's changing going on mid-pack, but it's all infighting with Red Team at the moment which won't help us out. I think that Fiesta's got the measure of me around here. We need to fend off from the F100. We need to fend off from the F100. What have we got else? Okay, I'm just looking... I shouldn't look at the leaderboard too much. Yeah, it's... an interesting split. We definitely need... We definitely need to either get our Anglia up into a podium spot. We could probably do with... We, could, we need a couple of positions to start going our way. 400 points, 450 points down. So we are going to need a couple of positions to start going our way. It's a big group of cars behind us, though. And, well, just about anything can happen in the course of five laps. Yeah, I, the Fiesta's gone. <laughs> this, track, this track, Fiesta works well around. This track, the Fiesta works very well around. 
because uh, it's all about that acceleration. Fiesta's got that in spades, and it doesn't top out. Uh, we have got at least every red car is gaining points, which is something. Problem is, 7th and 8th could really do with uh, getting a couple of cars up there if we can't get a larger points haul up the top end. We have got, we've got a car up into 3rd, which is good. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> It's so close. It really can go just about any way. And the worst thing is I cannot do anything. The worst thing is I am stuck here. I say I can't do anything. I cannot make a mistake. I can be ready if the lead Fiesta does have an issue. I would be surprised considering the speed advantage it does seem to have here. Oh, it's within 50 points. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> it's so close. Oh, I can't look at, I can't look at the minimap to see. We've got to cheer on got to cheer on the other the other red team mobiles any missed checkpoint now is going to be costly i mean if the to be fair if the angler catches me i'll just let it go there's no point there's absolutely no point in us fighting uh, i think the angler is probably slightly better suited around here my larger and slightly heavier escort is perhaps not quite so good i spot a green i spot the green of an escort cosworth we need that to overtake an anglia if it can we need cars further back to be overtaking if they can <laughs> but I don't know who's close I don't know who's close to what we don't know who to cheer on uh, this is it this is the final lap let's not let's not bulls it up now uh, we will be not quite we can't quite be flat through there I haven't got the grip the angle is sideways everywhere it's fantastic stuff <laughs> fantastic stuff to watch not so fantastic for us in terms of the scoring well as I use the scoring department we're going to get a 2-3 it's still 80 points it has fluctuated a little bit uh, oh, because we have got the Anglia for the fifth place. Can the F1? The F100 is not going to be beaten, I don't think, unless there is a very good run out of that final corner. Someone further back, do something magical. We need, we need a miracle from somebody, anywhere. <laughs> Fiesta's going to win. I don't think our escort is going to be able to do it. Can anybody else further back do it? I don't know if anyone's close enough. Oh, now it's the very nervous. Watch the leaderboard and hope that somebody can get an overtake. It's... I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think unless... unless our third Escort Cosworth can get past the Capri. Unless that's that can happen, but I don't know where they were on the lap and they can't do it. It's going to have to be... Disappointingly, we were 80 points short. 80 points was all it took. In the end, over five races, it came to 80 points. Well... <laughs> Well done. Well fought, everyone. That was a really interesting mix of cars, i got to say. That's a fascinating mix of cars, the way the way their strengths, their weaknesses. As I said, I thought after that first race I was going to be in for a terrible time with the Escort Cosworth. It came amazingly good later on. So, <laughs> yeah, you never know. That was a lot of fun. That was a fantastic team adventure. Uh, well done, everyone, who took part. That, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you do want to take part in the next adventures, then you can sign up on our forums. There'll be a link in the description. Find the versus the community section. And all of the information and to sign up is in there. That'll be it from me, though. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.